Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll see how we can generate a VCD that is value change dump file using Xilinx Vado simulator. So first of all, you should understand that VCD file is a file which is common across all the simulators. Either the simulator is from Cadence or it is from Synopsis or Mentor Graphics. You can generate the VCD file from the waveforms in any simulator and that VCD file you can share with the other simulator. It is a universal standard format which can be shared among various simulators and even this VCD file is supported by various instruments as well. Friends, what is the advantage of using VCD file? When we put the waveform in the form of a VCD file, when we dump the waveform in a VCD file, which is a text file, it's not any binary file, you can open it with Vim or GVim or Notepad. And this VCD file is generated when the RTL design was simulated by the simulator. But once the VCD is created, you can open it with any VCD viewer. There are many VCD viewers available in the market which are free of cost. For example, Snapticad is very popular. And later on we can open this VCD file without running the simulation in a second. And the same VCD file we can share across the globe with other users. They can also open the VCD file and see the behavior without running on the simulation. And because this is universal format, it can be opened in any other available simulators as well. So in this video, we will see how to generate a VCD file using Xilinx Zuardo simulator. I will try to understand the format of VCD file. And now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, for the demonstration, I have created a very simple design. It is double pulse stretching. Let us not dig into the deep of the design because that is not our concern. And I have created a test bench that is tb.v for it. And when we run the simulations, we will get these waveforms. Everyone knows those who use Vivado, they know how to get this waveform. But now the question arises, how to put this waveform in the VCD file? Friends, to take its VCD dump, you have to go to this Tickle console. And here you need to type Open VCD. So that means whatever VCD file name you want to give, you should give it. I am giving here double stretching waveforms.vcd file. Even you can give abc.vcd, any name, whatever you like, you can give. Now let me run this. So this VCD file is created. Now, friends, I want to take waveform dump from 0 nanosecond. So what I will do, I will restart these waveforms. So here is the restart button. I will restart so that the simulation will come at the 0 nanosecond. Now the next command is whatever signal we want to capture, those signals we need to give here. So the command name is log VCD. Log VCD. Here you need to run this command get object. This is test bench name TV. And this is my DUT that I instantiated with the name INST. Let me show you both of the files. This is the TV, which is test bench. Here I instantiated this module which is double pulse stretching with the name INST. So TB INST star. So whatever signals are there in this DUT, all of them I want to be captured in my VCD file. Let us run it. Now this command will capture all the signals in the DUT that is double pulse stretching when I will run the simulation. Now let us run the simulation for some time so that for that much time those signals will be captured in our VCD file. So I am going to run this simulation for 1000 nanoseconds. See my waveform ran for 1000 nanoseconds. So all these signals will be dumped into the VCD file. Now we need to close the VCD file. And the command for that is close VCD. Because we are done. So close VCD. Now my VCD file is created. Let us see how the VCD looks. And what is the content of the VCD file? Friends, I open my VCD file in a Vim editor. So, in the beginning, it gives some auxiliary information like date when it is created, version of the tool, time scale, module names it is telling. And here, from line number 12, it is very, very important to understand. It is dumping all the signals like clock, reset and pulse input, pulse output. 
and this is one of the registers that I define inside my design that is count it is of 8 bits all other signals are 1 bit long and very important thing here is it is giving a symbol to each signal like accelerometry sign to this double course to reset 10 hash to pulse input dollar to pulse output m percent to count and so on now let us see how it captures the values so here is a timestamp 0 and it captures the value of all the signals so 0 for x kilometry that means clock is 0 here at 0 nanosecond 0 is reset 10 0 is pulse input 0 is pulse output and 0 is count which is our counter now the next time stamp will see where at least one of the signal changes value that is why the name of the file is value change dump it will not dump all the timestamps it will take the signal dumps wherever there is a value change in any of the signal so then at this point of time it sees the value change and the value change is in accelerometry accelerometry is clock clock goes from 0 to 1 and this unit is 10 10 nanosecond already defined the time scale you can check it here 1 picosecond so 1 picosecond meaning 10,000 picosecond which is equal to 10 nanosecond so 10 nanosecond value of the clock becomes 1 so only this signal change so it will only dump that signal so that the file is compressed then at 20 nanosecond again accelerometry sign that is clock signal only changes value from 1 to 0 no other signal changed then at 30 nanosecond again clock changed its value becomes 1 then at 40 nanosecond again it becomes 0 50 nanosecond again clock is changing see because clock is periodically changing so all the values are captured here so this is 100 nanosecond where clock changed to 0 and this double core signal that is pulse input let us check double core signal this is the reset reset changes value reset was 0 and now it is 1 and hash also becomes 1 hash is pulse input pulse input becomes now hash becomes 1 hash is a pulse input it was 0 and it becomes 1 now Similarly, at other timestamps you can see what signals are changed and it will simply dump into the file and later on you can open it with any other simulator, even with Vardo simulator or with any VCD file viewer. Friends, in this video my design was very simple. All the signals were lying at the same level, same hierarchy level and we put all of them in the VCD file. But in practical, our design can be very complex. There can be multiple levels of hierarchy in our design. In that case, we want to put selective number of signals in our VCD. And those signals are available at different hierarchy levels. So I will tell you how to dump the signals at different hierarchy level in the upcoming video. Friends, this is all for this video. And with this, I am going to end this video. I hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.